Today, we're going to be talking about Titan Fitness Competition Kettlebells. I just had one show up on the front porch about 20 minutes ago. Let's get this sucker cut open and check it out. how it shows up this one came was shipped from by FedEx so you can see it survived the shipping pretty well we'll take a look see it looks pretty good all the way around a little knock but didn't go all the way through anyway there it is let's open it up see how it's packed and see what it looks like warranty card. I don't know if you know when you get something from Titan if you register it. Um, they have a website on here you'll get uh, like either 5 or 10% off your next purchase. 5%. So hang on to it. So it comes packed in styrofoam. You see that? So let's open it up and see where we what we got here. for the most part it busted the styrofoam then again it's 20 kilograms so styrofoam is not going to hold it long all right let's flip it back over and cut it open So, right out of the box, and plastic and styrofoam, 20 kg, purple. So let's look it over and take a quick look here. The handle is really good and smooth, and I'll get a closer shot of that here in a minute. Um, the bell itself, you see you've got good flat bottom. And again, I'll get up closer on this once we go over it. Um, it's fairly smooth. It's got a few, like, grinding marks on it logo at this distance might be hard to see but it's embossed nice and smooth I don't see that's gonna wear on your forearm really at all and there are no welds it's cast one piece and it looks really good so let me get in close on this and let you get a real good look at it we'll do a walk around up close all right all right I wanted to get in close here so you can see a couple of things first we'll look at the logo so it's embossed in there, and you can see it's not very deep. It's pretty smooth. I don't see that really rubbing your forearms raw or giving you any problems. The second thing we'll look at is it's cast one piece. And you can see that area is actually it's pretty smooth as well. There's not any jagged edges or grinding points or sharp spots that are going to bother you. Turn it a little bit so you can see the other side. So it's pretty smooth all the way around both sides. The finish is really good all the way around. It didn't come nicked up or scratched up. It doesn't have any, at least on this one, no thin spots. You have a little bit of a definition line where it goes from the paint to the uh, I can't 
quite get it to focus on there, but there we go. You can see there's just the slightest bit of a ridge where it transitions from the paint to the steel. So not too bad. It's nothing that's going to really bother your hands. It's not sharp. It's not jagged. It's just a little definition line. So next, while we're up here looking at the handle, obviously unpainted or unfinished, and it's very smooth. There's no, it's one piece, so there's no weld under there like you get on a lot of the ones that have enamel on them or the, you know, the ones you can get from Walmart or somewhere. But this is a, it's a pretty smooth handle. You can see some of the, well, I'm hoping you can. You can see some of the, I guess, grinding or sanding marks where they cleaned it up after it was cast. All right, moving on. Let's flip it over to the bottom here. Styrofoam all over it, but you can see where it's been ground. The bottom is still nice and flat, but you definitely got a few spots where I'm assuming it's where they cleaned it up after it was cast. Now, it's nothing that would turn me away from this. But it's probably not as perfect as going to like Kettlebell Kings or Kettlebell USA, even some of Rogue stuff. But it's just got a few little imperfections where they cleaned it up. Now you can see it's solid bottom, so it's got fill in it. We'll get into that in a little bit. We'll flip it over again. Come around the front. And then up on the front, you can see a little spot there. I don't know if that's uh, just where paint built up or if that's a little bit of imperfection in the cast. And you can see another little spot right there. And that is like a, a shallow spot in the metal. But all in all, I mean, for what it is, for what it cost, I think it's a pretty darn good kettlebell. All right, so let me get this back on the tripod and I want to show you a couple of more things that put the handle. All right, sit tight. All right, so one thing I want to say too, while you're looking at this, if it looks a little lopsided, it's not the kettlebell. It's because it's sitting on the padded part of my bench. It's just the way it's sitting in. On the floor, it does not look cockeyed like this. So that's because of the bench. All right, so on the handle, questions I get sometimes, about what's the handle space look like on these kettlebells or on different kettlebells? This is a competition kettlebell. You probably know that if you've been shopping. Some people don't know the difference between them. But the window here is really nice, and I'll give you some measurements in a couple of minutes. But here's you an idea if you're doing a single hand, all right, depending on where you put it, but you got a lot of room there. All right, so if you're picking it up by the horns, you've got a good bit of room there. I mean, I can barely touch fingers between them, so you've got a good bit of room in there. So if you're doing two-handed swings, you got quite a bit of room. So that's about all I got on the handle, but it is good and smooth. And even that little paint transition line I was talking about, I don't even feel it when I have my hands on there. All right. Okay, so we've seen it in and out of the box. Let's talk about a few of the key points about this kettlebell. All right, so first of all, Titan Fitness's competition kettlebells. Not just the one I ordered, but the entire line. They are cast steel, okay? So that means they're gonna be smooth with no welds, seams, or edges. Um, they have 18 different weights for them. They start at eight kilograms and run all the way up to 48 kilograms. Now that could change, they've added since they first came out. But currently, eight kilograms, to 48 kilograms. Um, they're color coded. So almost every different weight has its own color. So they're easy to identify when they're laying across the gym, across the shop, across the house, wherever you work out, you can look over and see exactly what you need. Uh, the handles are 35 millimeters. The handle width, so you're the window, is 190 millimeters, which that is about seven and a half inches. You could see in the video earlier where I could get one hand in there or two hands. There's actually a fair amount of room there. 
Titan says that the their sort of guarantee on the weight is plus or minus 3%. So if you ordered a 8 kilogram bell, you're going to get an 8 kilogram bell plus or minus 3%. Now the one I've had show up, I weighed it and it is almost dead on. It is just a little bit under. Not enough for me to complain about, just a little bit. Uh, also, these kettlebells, as you saw in the video earlier, they have a solid bottom, so they are filled. Um, I was unable to find out what they're filled with. I did a little bit of research online. I should probably send an email to Titan and ask, but it looks like commonly you see different things in the filling. I don't know what's inside the Titan ones, but I've seen stuff, people say cement, ball bearings, lead, scrap metal. I even saw, uh, I even saw one uh, post from a Russian website that said they were filled with uh, extracted teeth. So I don't necessarily believe that one, but it, I kind of want to cut one open now. Uh, okay, so that's kind of the selling points on the Titan competition line. Let's talk a little bit about comparison as far as price-wise. So Titan's competition line is on the low end price-wise. That 20 kilogram that I just opened up and showed you I paid $76 for it with free shipping from their website. 76 bucks total. Now, not knocking any of the other brands, just giving you some details here. If you were to go to Kettlebell Kings, their 20 kilogram is $109. Kettlebell USA, also $109. Rogue, 92 I believe is what they were, and there's no free shipping there. And Adder, or Ader, which is also on Rogue's website, they're $96 or $97, and again, no free shipping. So at $76, I mean, they're $20 less than the next closest one, plus the free shipping. As far as how do they compare, well, I don't want to get too deep into comparing different brands here, because I don't have any Kettlebell USA or Rogue uh, kettlebells here in the house. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, however, I have used them all, and I do have a couple of Rogue's older ones. I have a couple of Ethos kettlebells, and I have a ton of the uh, sort of cast iron enamel ones you can buy at just about any big box store. Um, to compare the competitions to the cast irons, you're looking at two different things. The handle sizes are different, the bodies are different. Competition to competition, though, the finishes on the the uh, Titans are really good. Um, there's no clear coat on them or anything, they're just painted. The sanding on the handles where they've been cleaned up is really good. Yes, the bodies are a little rough where they've been ground down, like where they grind and clean them up after the casting. I was able to point out a few spots where it was a little bit rough. And on the Kettlebell Kings and Kettlebell USA, you don't see that kind. You know, those are probably recycled when they dig into them a little bit with the grinder. But let's be honest, you're not showing these things off. And if you can jump into this line of kettlebells, on average for about 20 bucks a bell cheaper, that's pretty good. That's gonna let you buy one or two more kettlebells than you might have initially planned on buying. So all in all, I'm very impressed with it. Um, shopping in that price range, you can definitely find some a little bit cheaper, but you get what you pay for. Um, I have used mine now, two or three times, and I hear no rattle from whatever it's filled with, no movement inside. I have used a couple of others that are packed as well, and you can hear a rattle, the weight shifts a little bit, you, when you're swinging you can feel something moving inside. That's not the case with these Titans at all, at least the ones that I have received so far. Um, I ordered three, and all three of the ones I ordered were on back order. The 20 happens to be the first one that showed up, and I had a 16 and an 18 show up right behind it. Um, I still have a 24 on back order, so hopefully I'll be doing that one soon. Um, that's not, I mean, I, I gotta say, for the price and for what you get, I give these four and a half stars all day long. I think they're great. Um, check them out. They're available on Titan's website. Um, most of the sizes are available on Amazon as well. And so, as always, in the links below, or in the description below, I will post links to both the Titan and a couple of the others that we talked about in the video so that you can see the price difference and shipping price. 
um, and get sort of a cosmetic look at them and see what you see there. One other thing I want to talk about uh, on the Titan kettlebell that we just looked at, the logo on the front. Uh, there, I see a lot of people talk about the logos on different bells, how they rub the forearm, uh, how they're too big or too small, different complaints about them. This one is on the front and it's maybe the size of, it's a little bit bigger than a softball probably. Uh, it's embossed and when I'm doing cleans with it, I have not felt it anywhere on my arm. So it hasn't been a distraction, it hasn't rubbed me raw. Um, that was something I wanted to touch on because I have seen a couple of other brands that uh, the, the logo is big enough or the letters are big enough that it does cause a problem. Not the case here. So as always, if you got something out of this, if you liked the video, give me a like. Subscribe doesn't cost you anything. It does help me keep buying gear and making reviews. So I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, post them down below and I'll get to them as quick as I can. As always, thank you and I will see you next time.